Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me a video on this, and I started looking. There's a lot of videos on how to draw this, but none of them that I found were talking, and it's to me, it's a lot easier to learn when somebody's uh, talking, but we're going to make this really pretty easy out of this shape. So what you want to do, you want to take an oval, and you want it pretty thick. You don't want it squashed up so we can get many layers. I went ahead and hit the P key, put it in the center page. I'm going to control D and then I'm going to move it down. And then I'm going to control D again. We want six lines. And if you don't, if you're bad at counting right here, you got six objects. We're going to control G to group that and hit P to put that in the center of the page. We're going to control D to duplicate it, and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now, it's already in the center of the page, but I'm going to group it together and just hit P again just to make sure. So now what we want to do is delete some lines. And this is where I've got the Alt key up here. The Alt key, in the couple of videos I watched, the person that didn't use the Alt key, makes life a lot easier. If you don't use the Alt key, See, you can only get a few lines at a time. If you hold down the Alt key, you can pretty much swipe right through here. The Alt key works a couple different ways. One, it's anything the Alt key touches is going to do that. Now we want to get to this corner. Corner might not really help with the Alt key. You need to delete the lines that are coming through here. So it's not going to help you too much. But you want to get all these lines done. Just a couple more. And because we have it grouped together as a pretty um, significant outcome in just a second, we'll set our nudge factor on 20 because our thing is only so big. Now, by having six lines, every other one will be black and you'll get an even amount. And then we'll go to, and we'll make it a light gray and do the other. Now, if you ever have a leak right there, we could try this. We can delete that one, come back to gray, and do that one, and then it didn't leak. For sometimes the smart fill tool is going to leak with when you have another smart fill to it by it. So we'll just grab that gray again. And now because we have this group together, we can nudge this out of the way. Now we want to group this together, control G. This is where it's amazingly easy. Double click in your rotation and put it in the center and, and click off, make sure you're there. Go up to Windows, Dockers, and Transform or Transformation, depending on which version you have. And we're going to rotate it 90 degrees four times. And look at that. It was that easy. Now, if you want to add some I'm actually going to make another part. I, I try to keep my video short. We're going to make this where it looks a little more metallic in the next video. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.